Sylvia, Assistant Professor and Head, Department of Computer Applications, Nirmala College for Women, Coimbatore. I am going to talk about classes, objects and methods in Java. Java is a true object oriented language and therefore the underlying structure of all Java programs is classes. Java program must be encapsulated in a class that defines the state and behavior of the basic program components known as objects. Objects have states and behaviors. For example, a dog has states like color, name and behaviors like wagging the tail, parking, eating. Likewise, when we compare the software object with the real world object, software objects also have state and behavior. A software object's state is stored in fields and behavior is shown by our methods. Collection of objects is called a class. A class is a collection of variables and methods. A class can also be defined as a template or blueprint that describes the behavior or state of that object. Class. class, class name, extends super class name, within which we can have fields and methods declaration. Here, class name and super class name are any valid Java identifiers. Keyword, extends indicates the properties of super class, which is extended to class, and this concept is known as inheritance fields and methods are declared inside the body. These variables are also called as instance variables because they are created whenever an object of the class is instantiated. Everything inside the square brackets is optional. Let us see one example. Here class, class name is student. This class has an integer variable, register number and string variable name and one method called display. Instant variables are also known as member variables. Now let us see the methods declaration. A Java method is a collection of statements that are grouped together to perform an operation. Methods are declared inside the body of the class. Let us see the syntax of method. Type, method name, within which we have the parameter list and inside the body we have the method body. Method declaration have four basic parts. The name of the method, that is the method name, the type of the value, that is the method returns, like integer or string, and list of parameter, that is the parameter list, it contains variable names and types of all the values. The variables are separated by commas. When no input data, we can use empty parentheses. Let us see one example, void display, within which we have, we are going to print here two uh, variables, register number and name. So this method helps to print register number and name. Let us see one example, class, class name that is student, inside which we have the two variables, one is integer that is register number and another one is name which is of string or data type and we have one method display. Uh, this method is not going to return any value and this method helps to print a register number and name. Let us see how to create objects. An object in Java is a block of memory that contains space to store all the instance variables. Creating an object is also referred as instantiating an object. Objects are created using new operator. The new operator creates an object of the specified class and returns a reference to that object. 
let us see the syntax of the objects class name object name equal to new class name of so example for this is a student is the class which we have created before and stud1 is the object name and we are going to create a space in the memory and we are going to create another object by name student2 again you are going to create another space in the memory for the student2 object let us create one simple java program class class name is student and within which we have declared two variables register number it is of integer type and name is of string type and the other method uh, get data which helps to get values for two variables register number and name within which we are going to assign these values for the instance variables register number and name and the next method is display which helps to print the values for register number and name and within the main method we are going to create the objects student1 and student2 uh, so to get the values two different values so student student1 equal to new student of and student student2 is equal to new student of so student1 dot get data which helps to get the values for the first object that is a triple one in sylvia and for the second object uh, student2 which helps to get the values a uh, register number that is triple 2 and john and uh, suppose if you want to display the values you have to call the method display method which helps to print the value triple 1 sylvia and if you call the second object uh, by using the display method triple 2 and john will be printed thank you for watching